I want to see the Alliance map. Just what transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright <laughs> side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks wow. that your presence would bolster his image. That's funny. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. This one's gonna be interesting. Welcome, fair traveler. Curious child of his. I am Brendan of Ireland, and through light and voice have these stones spoken to me. Here lies the markings of him, where a second voice, higher than most, spoke to me again. Listen to all I have learned through prayer. Long ago was a great and tragic war. The offspring of gods who lived before the deluge. I pray for these rebel angels who came before. Interesting. Brendan of Ireland. Alright, what's this gotta look like? Alright. Interesting. Kill this guy over here. Chest. Locked chest. There's a key. Question is where? Oh, 
to lie down and pray that the leaves would cover me. That I could drag them over me like a blanket and join Chernunos in a bed of leaves. Took me in, stranger, with a song. The sound of Odin stumping on your bones is the only song you'll hear. Bjordsig Joy Kanker. A burly Norseman, Joy Kanker takes pride in his red beard. It's dyed with the blood of my kills, he likes to say. He is a stalwart friend of the Vellum. Oh, mother was right. Always keep the legs closed. <laughs> oh my god, what? Your <laughs> baby is coming. Where is the nearest healer? I'll take you. No need for a healer, love. Just get to the top of that hill. I can do the rest. What? All the way to the top? What? And you intend to go alone in your state? Yes! Ah! Oh, I'll roll my fat corpse up this hill if need be! It is too far <laughs> to carry you like this without hurting your babe. I shall have to take you by horse. Ah, oh, you need not help me, but... Who am I to look a gift Dane in the mouth? It's dishonorable to leave a pregnant woman to the elements. Why does the baby's father not come to you? The baby's father is a god. Mockus of the wood saw me on solstice and wooed me with his song. You laid down with a god. Aye, oh, is that so shocking? Mary Group picked up our trail. Hold on. Wait, what? You finished that thought? Aye, is that so shocking? Mary grew Christ from the touch of God. I heard of a Dane God who lay down with a horse. Loki. And he was also a horse at the time. You didn't get mounted by a horse god, did you? No, it was very much a man. A godly man, definitely not a mortal. But I didn't see him by light of day, so who knows? Child out of wedlock. Oh. I should raise the babe out here. Safe from town gossip. Raising it as a bastard. How oh, they'll talk. <sighs> Lying with woodland gods and living out in the wilderness. I should become a witch. What do you think, love? Is that all it takes to become a witch? <sighs> We're not far now, love. You can leave me on the steps of the temple if you want. The rest should come naturally. I'm not leaving you to bleed out or to be taken by wolves. If your god lover cannot join you in birth, then I will guide your child out. Oh, I doubt he will. I'll run after our little encounter. Oh, thank you, love. You have been kinder to me than my own kin. Where the hell did she go? There she is. Come along now. We made Don't it to it. the shrine. Okay. Do you think the otherworldly father will be able to find us? <gasps> I wasn't impregnated by a god. Just an ordinary man as bald as me. Doubt we want anything to do with this child. I see. Then we shall focus on the child instead. Breathe deeply and try to relax. This will take time. I will build a tent. Damn, bro. You built that? Whoa. You did a great job. A healthy baby girl. Just hear that cry. Warrior's lungs. 
A girl? I have no knowledge of warriors or what to name them. How about your name, then? Little Eivor. Ermina? I've been looking everywhere. Rand told me you'd run off and I worried the worst. <gasps> is that... Is that... This is your god lover. I expected more. God lover? <laughs> Should I take that as a compliment on my prowess or an insult to my name? Go, Marcus. Our families would never approve the Union. And if you're to have any reputation, you will forget me. I think I get to stay in that. I care not about status, and if all we have together is some hut in the woods, then so be it. A hut in the woods does sound fit for a witch and her babe. <laughs> Got us some girth. Right. Father, why do men yell at one another when they have drunk too much meat? Meat is a delicious poison that gives men courage and robs them of kindness. But yelling is not always a wrong. Have you never wanted to lose your tongue and scream at someone? Throw huga fire and word spears at those who anger you? Hmm, maybe? Why do you ask? Sigurd told me the story of Loki and his anger at the gods. Why was he angry? Because he was vain. When the gods heaped pretty praise on the serving men of Agir, Loki could not contain himself. His pride was heavier than his heart. He lived for trickery and glory hounding. He was jealous. Loki oh would rather make enemies of friends than hear a good word about anyone but himself. Never be as Loki was. Uh. Oh, that's not straight at all. A little bit better. This can be very bad. Oh. Stay like that? Oh, wow. This stays. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I like this. Okay. That works. My entity. Need to be careful here. Oh, this is nice. Shit. Nice. <coughs> nice. I guess rid of it. Sweet. Something's not oh, right. It keeps coming back. Shit.
the fuck? Oh! Hit him with lanes. Nice. Whoa, that's sick. Faded letter. Magister Sebastios. Forgive me my spirited tone, but this evacuation order for Magister Vitus in Londinium seems premature and cowardly. For over three centuries, the Hidden Ones have worked in the shadows of this empire to protect its subjects from the worst abuses of numberless Caesars and their petulant whims. Yet now, as the empire recedes and our protection begin to bear fruit, we are told to abandon our post? Madness. Have all our efforts come to nothing? Will our noble sisterhood let these violent but few voices who oppose our presence sing loudest? We must be better than this. I'm sure you will agree. Your friend and sister in shadows, Magister Maya. Why is that a quest item? Interesting. Hey, cool, pretty sweet. The new Church of Rome has found sturdy footing in the Isle of Britannia, yet our past support of these same worshippers goes unrecognized. Executions of Belgae, Belgae pagans are a routine occurrence in the streets of the city. Our pleas for com compromise fall upon deaf ears. Imperator Theodosius is unresponsive. We must send a message. Three church fathers, Vitus Secunda Agapitus, must die in a public spectacle. Remind the Romans that Britannia is home to numberless tribes. Acolytes Teague. Oh, that was pretty cool. Piggies today, five piggies tomorrow. So many lost little pigs, juicy and fat. I'll feast for days. What is it you want? Who are you? What? Oh, she wants to eat me. <coughs> Poison! I need to get out of here. My starlight, a Kill. swift death by a sharp sting separates us, both by lip and by heart. Whether by land or by sea, we never shall part. A fellow romantic soul. Perhaps you might be able to aid my plight. What ails you? A witch told me that one sting from the fuzzy little demon would steal my breath. But my love keeps bees. You cannot deliver your love letter because there are bees in the way. I could carry it for you. If you would do this kindness for Gil, then you must be a kindred spirit. Do you also enjoy the stamen and the petal? I enjoy much of many things. Oh, I had a feeling you would understand. I have painted my love in words in this letter. Let your romantic heart guide you. If I find this love of yours, I'll deliver your feelings. I'm sure your words will lead me to your heart's desire. Thank you! Oh, thank you, stranger! I shall call you Sunshine, for you broke through the clouds of my loneliness. The sweetness of honey on the tongue, with the danger of being stung. It is like love, always a chance of losing. Oh, starlight, my starlight, I cannot bear the weight of my devotion. It pulls on my chest like a great beast, tearing me asunder from my ribs to my lips. 
You haunt my every waking hour, your features so delicate. God himself must have painted them on with a fine brush. Your hair splays, bounces, falls in great locks of bracken tresses, whose eyes are that of as soft as a young calf and limbs as loose as a summer willow. I'll await your answer at the northern beech tree at dusk. Starlight. Starlight. Which of these keepers of the bees fits Gil's poems? I read that again real quick. God damn it. <laughs> if I do the wrong one, that'd be funny. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Air splays, bounces, falls, and great locks of bracken tresses. Young calf and a summer willow. What? Great locks. So, it's probably not her. He has no hair, so it's not him. Him. Would you say that you are cow eyed and willow limbed? Oh, oh, I suppose. I'm not sure what that means, but it is pretty. Are you composing a poem in my likeness? My mistake. Apologies. Okay, it could be her. Would you say that your hair could be described as bracken colored tresses? I beg your pardon? It matters not. Mm. Return to your work. Bracken colored tresses. What? Hello again. The wandering poet. Hello again. Probably Not me, though. but an admirer who prefers to remain secret until you two can meet. I have a letter with more details. Oh, goodness. Many thanks. I cannot wait to meet my admirer. I have delivered the letter. Now to see if Gil has met his match. Probably not. <laughs> the northern beech tree at dusk. It is dusk, right? Here. What the fuck is this? Brand's journal. Branch. Brand left three nights ago. Fool. The Fey are none to be trifled with, no matter the worth of a cursed mask. Kenhelm, cast your watch fly over my fool of a brother. Keep him safe in your place. Is it this? Oh. You! You! This had better be in jest! Uh. Because if you are writing me love letters, that is vile, and I'm telling mother. Oh God, it's your sister. Mm. Ah, Lily, stop! The letter wasn't for you. Sorry, Gil. Looks like you'll have to face your love yourself. Best Damn. of luck. <laughs> I knew it. It was the guy. Damn. Yo, man, I have a feeling. It's like, hmm. Gunnar. <laughs> Gunnar. 